Okay, today I will be explaining how to make a Stormworks modular engine. So I'm just going to start up by building a simple little platform. This is long and wide. Uh, I already tried recording this before, but you know, the audio didn't work. So let's try that again. So you're going to want a belt drive. A starter, it's like one of the most important parts. A exhaust manifold. Oh, the clutch is important. I'm just getting them as I see them. Fuel and air. The crankshaft, that's really important. And a piston cylinder thing. So you're going to want to add a starter right there, or a drive belt right there. You're gonna connect the starter so it can start. Add that. So I'm gonna put three cylinders. Just turn off symmetry mode. Yeah. Um, you're gonna want exhaust. And you're gonna want air. So, uh, uh, you're gonna also need fuel, obviously. And then you're gonna put the clutch. So, basically what we have here is the starter will start the engine, you know, it will provide that starting boost. Self-explanatory. And right here you have the clutch. So that's where the power comes out, the engine power. So you're going to want a fluid, any sort of fluid port. I'm just going to connect to one of those. Air ramp for the air. And for the fuel, it depends on how many cylinders you put. If you put more, you could need a pump or something. Or even a bigger fuel tank. I'm just going to use a small one for simplicity. And then I'm going to also get a throttle button battery and a function block so i'm going to explain what these are in a second Let's place them the battery and connect thing okay there's battery there so the throttle is going to control the throttle of modular engine this is going to control the clutch which comes out of there because if you have the clutch all the way on to set to maximum you know maximum uh the engine was gonna have a harder time starting up since it's already you know receiving a load i don't know how to explain it but just gonna make sure you have your clutch set to zero unless you really meant it to be set to one while the engine is starting but setting it to zero makes it much easier for the engine to start and saves lots of electricity. So we got all of that connected. We're going to connect the clutch to there. There's going to be a starter. There's going to be a throttle. So we're going to put a function block. This is going to control our fuel to air ratio. So what works for me is I connect the air to the throttle and then I usually divide the fuel by two. So yeah, that's just what works for me uh, most of the time, or all the time. Really. And I'm going to connect, let's see, maybe small fan, let's connect a small fan. That's to me, yeah, small propeller. And now you have a working modular engine. So let's go ahead and spawn that. So you set the throttle to max or whatever you need. Forgot about cooling. So you're also going to need to cool it. Right, some engines, it depends on the size, but almost all of them need to be cooled. Smooth battery. So, what you're going to want to do for cooling is what you do for any other cooling. I'm just going to go ahead and add this there. Right here. Add 
I just sneeze. Uh, sorry. Just gonna want to add a pipe there. And then, you know, you can connect it up. Add a pump. I don't think we need a pump. And let me... Stand. And now you have a working engine. I don't think you should overheat, but the cooling really depends on what you're doing, how big the engine is, so it's on a case-to-case -case basis. It's very loud. Okay, so we have the engine, it's running. So we have fuel decreasing, obviously. There's air and it's exhaust. So if you raise the clutch, Pellet will start running and it will propel and that is how you make a Stormworks modular engine. Uh, it's the same thing for bigger sizes, you'll just need more fuel and yeah, you just need more fuel. I don't know about air, but I know you need more fuel, like a lot of fuel and it's more powerful obviously, but that's the basically that's just the basics.